The riding of Key Wet'sinung turned four years old this year, and for its second ever provincial election, voters have the chance of uh, choice of five different candidates. This campaign has been a challenge for all parties involved, as flooding has impacted several communities. And Riley has the candidate breakdown. In 2018, Saul Mamaqua made history, becoming the first member of provincial parliament for Kiwetsnung. Now, four years later, the seasoned NDP member is back, campaigning, looking to continue in the role. When he talks with residents, he says they are feeling the crunch of the pandemic. Uh, the cost of living is a big issue. The cost of uh, gas is a big issue. You know, people are paying almost $3 in flying First Nation. Like, we're paying like uh, $2.09 in Mississauga. And, uh, you know, the, it's the cost of living and the cost of food, and uh, that's a big issue. But also, again, you know, uh, health care is a big issue. Looking to secure a win for the Liberals is Manuela Michalizzi, a Sulacout school teacher who believes her party's commitment to education will improve the lives of Ontarians everywhere. She says a big issue for Kiwetanung is health care from both an access and an availability perspective. We've seen emergency rooms closed in our riding because of a doctor shortage. Um, these things need to be addressed. We have a mental health crisis and an addictions crisis in our riding um, stemming from generational trauma. Uh, we need to address these issues um, with a strong voice. Representing the Green Party this election is Suzette Foster who works in the mining sector in Red Lake. She says there is a stigma that the Greens are not for development and extraction of minerals. However, in reality, she says that isn't the case. We have some very big plans in coming up in the future that involves uh, uh, affordable, affordable homes for, for people. And um, I just think that we're still going to have to have uh, all of the minerals and, and make the gold, the uh, steel. All of those things are still going to have to be used. So uh, the focus is trying to do it in a green and a positive way. The new blue party is younger than the Kiwetanung riding itself, but its candidate, Alex Dorn, believes he will be able to win over voters with his push towards bolstering the economy and pushing back against COVID-19 restrictions. He says the riding is diverse with different priorities for both the North and the South. The First Nations are more concerned about the, especially their areas of development. They don't have roads, all your roads up there, and uh, they want jobs. Uh, regular jobs like everybody else, the southern communities of Red Lake and, and Sioux Lookout and so on. Uh, there, I think the freedom, loss of freedoms and the financial losses, especially in the tourism industry, like this is tourism, restaurants and so on. You hurt the tourist industry, it, it takes a long time to lure them back. A fifth candidate in the race, progressive conservative Dwight Monk, did not return our request to do a candidate interview, despite a confirmation prior to the writ period. A party spokesperson would not confirm nor deny a policy change towards media access for some candidates. Adam Riley, TBT News.